She says Alexei's memoir, Patriot, represents his final act of defiance. It was his life. It was his every minute job to fight with Putin's regime. And now he's fighting from the grave. I would prefer he would fight not from the grave. And of course, it's very tough to, for me to uh, say like this, but we can say so. Over the summer, a Russian court issued an arrest warrant for her. It's a dangerous place to be. I don't care at all. You're not afraid? No, not really. Why should I be afraid? They could kidnap you. They could try to poison you. They could, but I don't want to live uh, my life and to spend my life every day thinking about if they kidnap me today or tomorrow, if they are going to poison me um, today or tomorrow. I'm not you, thinking about poison. You know who you sound like? Me. You sound it's, like Alexei. He would say the same thing. Of course, I've been living with him uh, <laughs> uh, uh, more than 25 years. I mean, you're, you're goading them. These are people who are trying to steal my country, and I strongly disagree with it. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, a kind of speechless person right now. I'm not going to keep silent. Why did you decide to go back, the two of you? You knew the danger, for sure. And do you regret it now? You uh, ask me about our decision. Uh, like we were sitting together and discussing if he needs to go back or he doesn't need to go back. It, do it didn't work like this. Uh, from the first day, uh, when I realized that he could recover after this poisoning, I knew that he would go back as soon as possible. So it wasn't even a debate. It no. just, when do we go back as we opposed to if? Debates and of course I would love to live all my life with my husband. But um, at that moment, I knew that there is just one decision which he could take. And it was his decision. And I knew how important it was for him. And I knew that he wouldn't be happy to live in exile. It must have driven Putin insane that he, he locked him up and he's still getting the anti-Putin message out. That's why he con uh, his conditions were worse way uh, from month to month. Those conditions, Navalny wrote in his diaries, included sleep deprivation, punitive solitary confinement, almost no medical care. 